This is a demonstration of using SP capacitor pack to decrease residual noise of a phono stage and this video is all raw footage. I have no intention to edit it. If I misspoke anything, I will correct myself and or using text on screen to correct my mistake. In this setup, I am using a TLP audio TPS10 phono stage. This phono stage is capable of up to 88 dB of gain. I am setting it at 76 dB of gain at the moment for the demonstration. It is currently connected to a standard TLP audio TG1 power supply. I have two SP capacitor pack in the middle. They are not connected at the moment. Each one contains approximately half a ferret of capacitance, which is 500,000 500, microfarad of capacitance. The distortion analyzer is showing the residual noise of the phono stage output at one approximately 1.6 millivolt at the moment. For a 76 dB gain phono stage, this is a very acceptable level. Typical phono stage of MC gain, um, MC phono stage is 60 dB. An extra 16 dB is equal to 6.3 times more gain than a typical 60 dB gain MC phono stage. The scope beside the distortion analyzer is showing the waveform of the output. Notice all those spikes. Those are 120 Hz spike. It's coming from the power supply. This is a ripple current of the power supply. You will see when I connect the SP capacitor pack, they will decrease and you can also hear the difference. I have connected the output to a pair of speakers via a preamplifier and amplifier to amplifying the residual noise. Of course, you are not going to hear that much noise from, the, from your phono stage unless you turn the volume all the way up. I am going to turn down the, cam uh, the camera to show you the speaker is right below the setup and, I, and then I will turn on the amplifier so you can actually hear the noise. If you can hear the little bit of hiss, I will let you have approximately 10 seconds to turn up the volume to hear the hiss and these are the hiss of the residual noise of the entire system without the phono stage. So you will understand how loud the volume I have turned up. So last time, 10 seconds, and make sure you turn down the volume control before the 10 seconds is end. So I will start talking again. Now start counting 10 seconds. I have given you 15 just in case you didn't turn, that, turn it down bef uh, before the 10 seconds end. We are going back up to see the scope display and the setup. I am going to turn on the amplifier and um, uh, unmute the signal now so you can hear the residual noise of the phono stage. There is hum and there's also a lot of rush, which is typical of phono stage of this game. Any phono stage will have the rush, but it is the hum that we want to get rid of the most. This, remember this is a TPS20 set at 76 dB gain connected to a TG1 power supply of TLP audio. This is a basic power supply, the entry level power supply. 
I am going to connect one of this SP capacitor pack and notice this number of 1.6 millivolt of residual noise will decrease also the spike will also all will also decrease by a, by a, uh, a big margin when I disconnect the power supply you will also notice the spikes are gone because there is no power supply no AC source so therefore the, the spikes are gone but as soon as you plug the power supply in if it is without enough capacitor filtering the, the, the spike will come back and hear the noise right now the residual noise of the phono stage I will give you another 10 seconds to hear the residual noise of the phono stage and remember to turn the volume down after the 10 seconds let's start counting 10 seconds Oops. I am going to mute the signal and then in and then install one of the SP capacitor pack. I will get in front of the camera but I will try to let you see the scope display and also the distortion analyzer display. This is without any AC power. We the, the phono stage is using only the residual uh, power supply capacitance inside the phono stage. I will now unmute the signal path. This is the residual noise of a one with one SP capacitor pack in the power supply chain. Notice the the number has decreased from 1.6 to approximately 0.6 millivolt and the spike uh, mostly disappeared and I am going to let you turn up the volume again for 10 seconds to hear the actual residual noise most of the hums are gone there's still a lot of, uh, still a lot of rush which is uh, expectable expected the, uh, uh, the hums are still a little there but most of them are gone. Now starting start counting 10 seconds. I am now going to mute the signal path and install a second capacitor pack. It is 0.6 millivolt, 0.6 to 0.7, jumping around that range. Signal path as unmute. Noise has decreased a little bit more. The spikes are entirely gone. And I'm going to let you turn up the volume again for 10 seconds to hear the residual noise. Counting 10 seconds.
if you want to hear the residual noise, you can go back to those uh, uh, 10 seconds and compare the residual noise. Just be careful not to play my voice with high volume setup. Um, it might damage your, your, um, your speaker or it might damage your headphone or in more importantly, your hearing. So when you do that, just be very careful to, do, uh, to hear the, the residual noise. I am going to mute the signal path again, once again, and disconnect both SP capacitor pack and go back to the original, just the TG1 power supply with the phono stage. The rush noise is still there. It may sound a little less than before, but it is only because the hum is covering the rush noise. The hum is a lot louder without any SP capacitor pack. Then again, for a 76 dB gain phono stage, this is actually a very acceptable level of residual noise. However, this demonstration just showing an extra capacitant power supply, capacitant pack can improve the residual noise of the phono stage. When it comes to phono stage, it's all about how quiet it is. And the lower the residual noise will result in better performance. This concludes this demonstration and experiment of the SP capacitor pack.